In the next 13 weeks, I am going to lose 30 pounds. I am doing this to prove a point. I've done this before, so I know I can do this again. Now, how am I going to do this? That is what we're going to talk about in this series about losing weight the best way. Hi, my name is Maurice and I am a lab rat on different areas. I'd like to experiment on things and one of the things is that I'd like to experiment on health. So I want to become more healthy. Now why do I want to become that? That has a couple of reasons. I don't want to have diabetes. I don't want to have, have Alzheimer's when I grow old. I don't want to have cardiovascular diseases and these are all linked to overweight, to a non-healthy lifestyle. And of course we've done all the things that we been taught right you got to eat healthy you got to move you got to exercise these kind of things but it's not always that easy so in this video series i'm going to teach you and show you exactly what you need to do to lose the weight for good as long as you want i must add because i've done this before around two years ago you know in the beginning of the, the the covid crisis i've done this before i've lost 15 kilograms so that's around these 30 pounds and um, doing it following this principle that I'm gonna teach you and show you in this video series. And so you might ask, what happened? Why did you become fat again? Well, that was because I got off this way of living. All those, you know, all things that happened, uh, I can show, tell you later in the series, but it just, you know, it happened. So I was figuring like, okay, I need to document this now. So I know I can do this and why not show others how to do this right so i can help you maybe motivate to get this started and to do, to do this yourself because it is really not that net hard you just have to know what to do and one of the things we're going to use for losing the weight is our biology the basic principle is to use your biology so you're going to do it in a healthy manner and not like having some extra or medicine or powders or whatever no we're just going to use the regular food exercise sleep like the three foundations of health to lose the weight and become more healthier so you have more energy you have more stamina you have a better condition you look better so all these kind of things will help get me there so in this series i'm going to talk about everything you need to know to get through that step but first we're going to start with the foundation and that is the food so we need to talk about food food is the foundation for a good health now why is that well that is because you are what you eat literally everything that you eat is being transformed into building blocks into cell stuff right it, it creates the cells it, it it feeds the cells it gives you energy and and that is important to build the health you need because everything that you've been eating is being contributing to your current state of health so if you are overweight or if you do have um, diabetes or any pre-diabetes there going on or any other stuff going on in your health which are linked to this healthy lifestyle it comes down to what you eat and how many times you eat so what we're going to talk about in this series is about the ketogenic diet and intermittent fasting combined and that is the secret sauce so to say in how to lose your weight in a healthy manner and you know don't starve right or or don't do any crazy crash diet or things like that or any point counting or things you know there are so many diets out there that it's hard to keep up with which one work and of course there are a lot of diets that work but they're diets like temporary solutions well this gives you an opportunity to really master it in your current lifestyle and, and change the lifestyle so you can have a you know healthy healthy life uh, and body and, and mind and everything going on there and there are a lot of studies that show exactly what i what i will teach you that that indeed works and wherever i can i will put a link in the description to that research so you can read it yourself um, but if you're not so much into reading scientific papers which is a lot of technical hard stuff 
but you know, just take my word for it and I'll show you the results, what it, how it works, right? So the keto ketogenic diet, you might have heard about it. And the ketogenic diet goes all about managing your macronutrients. Now, what are macronutrients, I hear you say? Yeah, well, that's a good question. Your macronutrients are like the three categories that every type of food has its place in. And these three types of food are being categorized into fats, protein, and glucose, or carbohydrates, or sugars, right? We all know that one. And we know sugar is bad for you, but why is it exactly? Well, that's what, you're gonna what I'm gonna teach you here in this series. Now, if you're watching the series after the 13 weeks, so all the videos are there already, just check out the, 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 the video playlist to really look for the subject that you're looking for to get more knowledge about that. Or when you're here watching this, when this is being released, thank you so much for being here on the journey. And you know, you can join along, just start doing what I'll do and, and, and that's what we're gonna do, right? So if you wanna know more, if you wanna have more information about this, the, the, like the, the recipes and the, all the kind of stuff like that, I'll put a link uh, below. It's masteryourpersonality.com. You can find it there as well. That's my website uh, where I work as a coach, as a lifestyle coach and um, also like a ketogenic nutritious health coach. So I've been studying this, right? It's not something that I just heard somewhere going on Facebook. No, I actually studied this and this stuff works. So the ketogenic diet combined with intermittent fasting. Now intermittent fasting, I'll dive into that later, but the ketogenic diet really focuses on lowering the amount of carbohydrates you have in a day in your food plan, right? So when you go look at the standard American diet or any other standard African diet or standard European diet or standard Asian diet, whatever there is, these diets are all like the same, right? They, they tell you that, that you have to have your, your, your vegetables, of course, and you have to have your dairies and your fish and your meat and your potatoes and your rice or your pastas, things like that. But the thing with that is it can be a healthy diet. If you follow that to the letter and you are already healthy, it may, might work. And that co combined with the lifestyle you have, like active lifestyle, working out in a gym or running every day or being actively in your job, it could be healthy to eat like that. But since we are in an age of modernization, automation, IT, and we work from home, we work at a desk, we sit all day, we drive from in our car from one place to the other, we don't walk, we don't bike, we don't run, we do nothing, we just sit and watch net, some Netflix, right? The activities you do there or do not do there, combined with this standard American diet, will lead to problems. And that's exactly what happened with me as well. So what I did after two years, right? Two years, like I show you in the picture here, that's how I looked after the three months, right? After the 13 weeks, that's how I looked. So it really worked, right? Coming from this to this is really like the big difference. And I did that with what I'm gonna teach you in this series. So what happened in between? Well, I got into a relationship with a beautiful girl and we kind of like lived together and we ate together but she wasn't into all this. And I, you know, let myself get on with that as well. So I started eating more carbs again, which led to another, um, that I like like addiction that I have for sugar and chocolate and ice cream and things like that. So within a year or uh, like 18 months, I was back on my weight, my, my, my starting weight back then. That's what happened. Now the relationship ended, not only because of that, but you know, things just don't work out sometimes. And, you know, I thought like, wait, I just have to change this again. This, it's, this isn't good. This isn't really me. I have to, to dive really into this healthy lifestyle again and, and get it back on track because, you know, I was getting lazy. I, I also just watched Netflix all evening and just chilled and relaxed and, and nothing happened. So, um, yeah, that's, that's being transparent here, being vulnerable. Uh, I'm a human. I make mistakes too, so you know I'm I'm here to change that and make it into a new habit, to have a healthy food pattern, to have exercise and to sleep better. And if you combine all the things, all the things that I teach you here in these videos, you can do this too, and it's really easy. You know, in general, like the foundation of ketogenic is skip all the carbohydrates, right? Just don't eat them anymore. Don't eat bread. Don't eat pasta, don't eat potatoes, don't eat rice. Those are like the big, the big three, four 
areas where you can 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 win win your carbohydrates intake on right because they're high in in carbohydrates now what happens in short carbohydrates getting transformed into glucose which will peak your or rise your blood sugar level and your blood sugar rev level can be high all the time it has to be lowered because the glucose is the energy for your cells right so you get this insulin that's that's this molecule that's this this uh, hormone that will take the take the glucose out of your blood and start distributing it over the cells so it can feed your cells and you can have your energy and that's why you have energy from from glucose right and we are all trained that glucose carbs are good for your energy but there's another energy source that pretty much no one talks about which are ketones and ketones are being used when there are no when there's no glucose anymore right when you don't feed yourself with glucose you force yourself, you force your body into using ketones. And ketones are far more, far more effective fuel. They have a better burn rate, so to say, so you can do longer with the amount of ketones you have. And it doesn't peak your blood sugar level, right? Because they're not, they're not glucose there. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's ketones. And uh, ketones are being made out of fat. So your liver actually makes these ketone bodies out of fat either fat that you eat from your food right the fat that you eat in in general food or the fat you have inside of you your your fat right there right that's where it can burn these uh items too so so it can use these ketone bodies and that's the state you want to get into you want to get into the state of ketosis which means that you don't run really on glucose mainly but you run mainly on these ketones and therefore you are burning your fat now there's another little secret I like to share with you right away because it's a very important you know item to to understand. If you're eating glucose, if you're if you're having glucose as energy source, so if you're eating a lot of carbs, sugar, ice cream, chocolate, you know, or just bread and 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 pasta, and you drink alcohol every day, then the glucose is not only being used as energy, but it needs some kind of a buffer. You know, in about four hours, your, your, your food is being digested. So that would mean that every four hours you should eat. Otherwise, you'll die, right, if you use all the, all the glucose right away. So using all the glucose right away isn't an option. You need kind of like a buffer to, you know, store the, the, the energy for later use. And that is being done by this hormone insulin as well. So it takes the glucose out of your blood and puts it into the cells so it can use it as energy. But it also stores say around 50% of all the glucose amount that you took in into this reserve of your energy. Now, what do you think that would be? Exactly, it will store itself in fat cells. Now, we all have fat cells. Everyone has fat cells. The amount of fat cells doesn't, doesn't grow when you go fatter. The cells grow so you become fatter. So it's like this really, you know, flexible cell type of thing where it didn't just store this, 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 this glucose and transform it into more fat. So the fat grows in the cells because you eat carbs. So fat doesn't really make you fat. It's the ex, ex, extra amount of glucose you eat that will make you fat. That made me fat. And that has a lot of, you know, problems going on there immediately. So going through that, it's really important to understand that if you lower your amount of carbohydrate intake, you still have some glucose to run on because your body can create glucose itself, but you, you change your state from glucose burning into ketosis, right? Into ketones burning or ketone usage as energy. And that is where we are after. And that is exactly what the ketogenic diet does. And it's also what intermittent fasting does. So the ketogenic diet really goes around having the amount of macronutrients, right? The three basic ingredients of every type of food, carbs, fat, and protein, to lower the amount of carbohydrates. So that means that you eat more protein and even more fats. Now, eating fat, that's a whole different area as well. So we'll dive into that in one of the future videos, what, what types of fats there are and which are, which, are, which are the good ones and which are the bad ones and what cholesterol does and all those kind of things. Because it's interesting stuff to know, right? If you understand this stuff, you can apply it to yourself. So it, it, that's why I'm also explaining things like that in these videos. So I want you to understand how the biology works and how you can use your own biology to lose the weight that you gained as well because of the biology. And that is not as simple just to say, you know, you got to move more and eat less, right? Uh, or calorie counting. It's all part of a bigger, bigger story. And that's the thing that I'd like to share with you.
in these series of videos. So setting the foundation, we're going to run on ketogenic diet. So the food that I'm going to eat is mainly on protein based and uh, fat based. What does it mean? I'm going to eat, you know, pure olive oil or butter or what is it that I'm going to eat? No, I'm going to eat everything except for bread, pasta, rice and potatoes. Because if you leave out those ones, that's the high amount of carbs you get into. The rest will take care of itself. So you're going to eat a lot of vegetables. You're going to eat a lot of meat or fish. Uh, and, and, you know, everything, seeds, nuts, all these kind of things, they all are well done. And I'm going to ditch all the processed food. Processed food is everything that's pre-packed, right? So you got this pre-packed meal, you can just put it in your microwave and you got your dinner. It's full of stuff you don't want to eat, right? It's not fresh, it's not natural, it's processed in a factory. They, they might have put in things, you know, to make it taste better, have more salts, uh, have the wrong types of fat, which is cheaper. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff in the, these types of processed foods that you don't want to take in as well. So I'm going to eat as much as I can fresh types of food, vegetables, you know, all kinds of vegetables are, are, are possible. And of course, I'm a, I'm a big meat lover, so I'm going to eat meat and I'm going to eat fish. And that's it. No potatoes, no rice, no spaghetti or any other pastas, right? And that's, that's the principle of the ketogenic diet. Now, intermittent fasting, let's dive into a little bit of that. So, intermittent fasting, what does that mean? It means you're fasting in an intermittent time frame, right? So you have a time-restricted period you eat your food. And we all do that already. Right? You don't eat when you sleep, so you at least for like six or seven or eight hours, you don't eat or even longer, right? If you have your last meal in like say 7 p.m. and you don't eat anything after that till the next morning till you have your breakfast, you have been fasting for 12 hours, right? Breakfast is actually if you break it down, breaking your fast, that's where it comes from. So breakfast is you're breaking your fast. Now, if you can prolong that fast from 12 hours to 16 or 18 hours, hours, which essentially means you just don't eat your breakfast, you just start eating at lunchtime, then you create processes in your body that will help you burn the fat. Now, if you are not eating for four or five hours, right? That's the, still like the, the feasting stage. That's where your, 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 your food is being digested and everything is being taken care of. And, you know, every, all the, 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 the nutrients are being taken out, the minerals, the vitamins, uh, and, and the energy, of course. So that takes about four to five hours. So that means that around 12, you know, a.m. at midnight, you become in a state of fasting. And from that moment on, until the moment you start eating, your body has different phases that go that's going through. And one of the, the, the things that's going to happen there is called autophagy. And autophagy or autophagy or, you know, whatever you, you name it, there are different ways to pronounce it. It makes you clean up the dead cells, the zombie cells. It, it makes you clean up everything that's, you know, needing a need for cleaning up in your in your system so it would give you the the opportunity to to do some sort of a detox so to say every time you do an intermittent fasting which is longer than say 12 to 16 hours it will get yourself into this detoxing situation here to det detoxing your body which is a good thing right now don't you get hungry well if you're following the ketogenic diet so you're not relying so much on glucose on, on carbohydrates you don't really get hungry you can actually get used to skipping your breakfast. A lot of people do that, right? So it's nothing special. But if you do it consciously and you focus on the fact that you are doing this to burn the fat and creating autophagy and all these kinds of processes that are going on, you actually put yourself deeper into ketosis. So combining with intermittent fasting and the ketogenic diet, man, you're on a run, right? And you'll see that in the series, what will happen is that the kilos or the pounds will drop off very quickly, at least at the beginning, right? We, that's like the first time, first period of time that will go faster than regularly. Um, but yeah, that, that's how it works. So ketogenic diet, not eating any carbs, at least not so much carbs. You, we all get carbs, right? Even in broccoli, there are carbs. So you're not eating no carbs, but let's say about five to 10% of your meal in a day will have some carbs instead of 50 or 60%. Like that's like a lot less, right? So focusing on protein, so let's say around 30% and the rest of your intake is going to be fat based, right? Um, now it's 
needing to do healthy food because you need your vitamins and your minerals, right? Your electrolytes. So we need to have that as well because these micronutrients are crucial for functioning in your day-to-day -day life. Even you falling to sleep or uh, triggering hormones or boosting your hormones, supporting your hormones, that's why this is important to have your minerals and, and these kind of things also in order. So eating healthy is not only because you're healthy, but it also supports you having the right types of vitamins, uh, minerals like uh, uh, zinc and, and, and potassium and uh, uh, you know iron, all those kind of things. So that really helps as well. And of course, drink a lot of water. Water, water. If you drink a lot of water, that is crucial for your body because your body is like 70% made out of water, right? If you don't drink water, you raise your blood pressure, um, your kidneys struggle with getting it all done what they need to do, right? So you need to drink at least 0.5 to 0.7 gallon of water a day, it's like two to three liters water a day. And that's what I already do. That's already what I've been doing. I don't drink, drink any soft drinks like Coca-Cola or Fanta or Sprite or, or these kind of things. I rarely drink alcohol. So not so much beer or, or wine or, or, or other stuff, stronger liquors, right? Because they're also being transformed into glucose. So drinking a lot of water is good for you. Coffee is good for you. Tea you can drink, right? As, as long as you don't drink it with uh, a lot of sugar, of course. So having black coffee, or a coffee with a creamer, a fatty creamer, that's good, right? Bulletproof, bulletproof coffee is one of those things you can, you can drink. Um, so coffee, tea, water, that's what I drink in, during a regular day. So intermittent fasting means that you don't eat for 16 to 18 hours or even 22 hours, which means you just eat one meal a day, also called OMAD. That's it. That's the secret of how you can lose the weight. And that's what I'm going to show you in these next couple of weeks in this vlog style videos, video series, so I can take you on a tour, how to do it, what to do, I'll show you some recipes, and just go to masteryourpersonality.com so you can get the information there as well um, for recipes, for the whole principle. There's an ebook there that I that I got there that you can, can, can get. So, you know, we need to dive into this together, and I need your help with that. Click the like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss another video when I release it. I will release it somewhere in the weekend, every weekend from now on. So that's it, right? I'll record some stuff during the weeks and I'll edit it on Saturday, whatever, and I'll just put it out there whenever I have time on Saturday, Sunday, and then you can join me there for the adventure as well. So for the next 13 weeks, 13 episodes, we're going to dive into the ketogenic diet, into how you can build your exercise, what kind of exercise you can use, how you can improve your sleep, everything around these three pillars of health, food, sleep, and exercise to lose your weight, to get off your diabetes medicine, whatever your pre-diabetes can be cancelled uh, and make sure that you don't die from some sort of a heart attack or cardiovascular disease or even build up to having Alzheimer. And the reason why I'm doing this as well, I'm going to share it in the next video because there's a lot of personal stuff there going on as well that I'll share you which helped me trigger doing this for me right now and make sure that I get in the most healthy state as I can. So thank you so much for watching for this one. I hope you enjoyed being here and, you know, like I said, like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. We got this.